Today, we're going to bring a 2-in-1 heater and a fan. Now, a good combination to circulate air around you and heat up a room or get the coldness right away. This is a perfect thing. Now, they do give you a remote control instructions and a long extension cord to connect now let's take a look at some of the features i'm going to zoom in so you guys can take a look at the buttons so if you lose the remote no worries everything you can do it on the actual system itself so we're going to take a look at it we're going to zoom in and see what you can do on the top of it you'll see the speeds and this is a motion all right so if you want the actual fan to rotate because it does rotate we have 70 75 80 and 85 so it's gonna get high extremely the power button is simple it's uh here fan and heat is right here and re and this is the actual uh area where you have to choose your actual what how hot do you want it to be and this is to actually rotate so everything's gonna light up and tell you what's doing and these are the actual controls you only get four buttons in the bottom but that's pretty much what you're gonna require all right one of the best things i like about this fan all right the thing is that if you want a 75, the, the, the fan will automatically balance itself on the heat, all right? It will turn on itself with the heat or it will lower the heat itself and it will just automatically keep its balance, all right? It has its own thermostat, so it's gonna go on its own heat. So if you want an 80, you could just hit this thermostat here, the little icon here, and it's gonna change it to 80. Now the, the, the propellers are gonna start pushing a little bit harder hotter air of course because it's heating up and it goes up to 85 in Fahrenheit if you guys can see so I'm gonna try to angle it a little bit but it has a tilt mechanism so if you tilt it or drop it or it by accidentally it won't start fire it will automatically turn off so that's a little safety that it has built in so it's uh, it's it has it built in you can't physically see it so Try not to touch it too much. I can't tilt it too much. So I'm going to keep as it is. And you're going to see if you can see the actual rag, right? So let's go ahead and power it up. So there's only two levels on the air. And this is as strong as you're going to get, right? Now, if you want to make it spin, you hit the last button. And it's going to start spinning automatically. Now, the whole base itself spins. But it keeps a one angle. It won't go up or down. It's just pretty much how it is. So you can see. If you guys can see, I could put the rag in there and I'm going to turn it off and then we're going to bring in the thermal camera and see how it works. We have the fan on on level two in speed, but we're going to do level one of heatness and that's going to heat up the actual fan itself. And you're going to see it immediately and that's level one right now. And actually, and the fan actually dropped its its uh, propeller slower, but it's actually heating up a lot and it's throwing air. Now, I'm this is level one. On the heat part right we're gonna hit le level number two and now i feel the hot air everywhere it's really strong so it heat up pretty quick too if you guys can see that we're about 130 in there so that's not bad and then we're gonna see if we could hit it at 70 degrees so this could automatically change itself if it depends on how much you want to be heated all right so if you want it just a certain degrees you're gonna have to push the button to change the degrees if you want it 80 degrees it'll start heating up the actual um, bars itself and if you want it lower like a 70 it's gonna it's gonna decrease its heat just to balance itself so this is a great way to actually keep itself balanced on the heat part of it 